Dr. Jesse Sanders. I am the owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. Today we will be talking about when it is safe to fast your fish. Now fasting essentially means withholding food entirely. Uh, it's very common to be done in say your fluffy pets if they're going in for surgery. Now a lot of the times what we read on the internet says that if your water chemistry is poor you should stop feeding your fish. Now mostly this is water chemistry issues with ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. And this primarily leads again to the protein coming in with the diet. Now this is essentially the same for blaming your dog for peeing on the floor when you've never actually opened the door to let them outside. It is not your fish's fault that their water chemistry is terrible. It is your job as their owner to make sure that their water is appropriate. And this means regular water changes and test your water chemistry at least a couple times a week until it is stabilized. Now with new systems going through what we call new tank syndrome, your biologic filters have not yet been established. So you're not going to roll through the ammonia to nitrite to nitrate right off the bat. Again, during this process, you will see a little bit of ammonia, a little bit of nitrite, and then it will convert over to nitrate. Now this may take about four to six weeks. During that period, your fish can still eat. Now, if your fish does not want to eat and it has no interest in food, then that is okay to fast your fish. And if it is an issue with water chemistry, obviously do your water changes to make sure that their water is gonna be clean. Now, never do more than 50% at a time. And certainly if your pH is way off from where it used to be, you really shouldn't do more than about five to 10% at a time. So again, why are you fasting your sick fish when it's your fault that the water is terrible? If your fish is hungry, they need energy to swim. Withholding food from their diet is just gonna make things worse for them. If they don't have any energy, they're just gonna sink to the bottom and feel miserable and stressed out and get sicker. So, if your water chemistry is terrible, keep feeding your fish. Yes, you can switch to a lower protein diet if it's really that big an issue, but most of the time it's because you need to do your maintenance. So, never fast a fish unless they absolutely do not want to eat. Other than that, keep an eye on your water chemistry Test regularly with a liquid-based test kit to make sure that it stays healthy for fish. Water quality is really the most important thing in fish care. So thank you very much for joining us for this video. If you have any more questions or concerns about fish health, please visit our website at cafishvet.com. At Aquatic Veterinary Services, fish are treated like family.